What's up YouTube? I'm Vern. I'm Hannah. Welcome to another edition of Pogi Boy Productions channel. So here we go again. More food to eat. You yeah. ready, Hannah? You oh, hungry? Definitely. Alright. Starving. Here we go. Stay tuned. All right, Heather. So today we went to a place called Pinwheel Garden. Yeah, I found it in an online okay. website, of course. and they're known for their uh, Asian cuisine. But it's more of a like fusion, Asian, Asian fusion type of thing. Yeah, and they have very. Uh, I picked the best sellers basically, and all and pick dumplings for you, and some noodles, and of course your Thai iced tea. Yeah. Even this is different, right? Yeah, right. It's like an organic. They use some organic milk for this Thai iced tea. So it's supposed to be a little bit more orange if they <laughs> So we'll try it and see what's in there. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. So what do we have here, Ryan? This is a noodles. Can you explain to us what this is? It looks good though. Mm. Can't wait to try this. It's called the mushroom drunken noodle. There's liquor in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is it called drunken? That's a good question. Yeah, I'll have to look that up through Google or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got some dumplings here and... They're also different dumplings. Yeah. Go ahead, Hannah. There are two different dumplings here. One is a, was a bacon dumpling. Mm -hmm. And the other one is mac and cheese dumpling. Mac and cheese. That's, you know, mac and cheese. Yeah. I can say no to that. That's like comfort food. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you call a real fusion right there. Putting mac and cheese in an Asian dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought of that? Yeah. They did. They did. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Which one are we going first? Okay, here, Ryan. Here's your chopsticks. Chop, chop, chop. And let's see. Let's make this up first. Um, we got, let me get the serving fork there. This looks really good though. Mushroom drunken noodles. That has all kinds of different things. Yeah, since I had the fork burn, I'm just gonna you go can ahead. go and start. <laughs> so these are udon noodles, right? Yes, this is the udon thick noodles. I see mushrooms, onion, carrots in there. Yeah, some water crust, I guess, or snow pea, snow pea leaves, mm -hmm. vegetables, veggie, veggie veggies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burn. Looks good. It smells good too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pardon my uh, chop six skills, it's totally below average. So how is it, Anna? It's really good. Yeah? yeah? There's a tiny bit of kick to it. It's a little bit spicy? Just a tiny bit. You can taste it in your tongue that there's a kick to it, but... Mm -hmm. It's still a lot, of, a lot of veggies in here, so yeah. for those of you who are healthy conscious, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Compared to what we ate last week. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. But definitely, uh, I gotta say that the flavoring this thing is banging. It's really good. Taste it, Vern. What do you think? Here we go. Here goes my 50% chopstick level. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, definitely can feel that spice. Yeah, it's not it's not that bad though. It's really good. So yeah, it's not that bad. Mm. I'm more like a mild spice to it. Mm -hmm. You can really taste all the veg veggies in here. Uh, there's no meat in this thing, right? I don't think so. Yeah, it's all veggies, which is not not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a, a full meat, but the flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. right? Here's your mushroom. Mm. Watercrust, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. mm. I think there's some eggs. Is that egg? I think there's some eggs in there. Yeah, there's egg. Okay. There is egg. The usual onions, carrots, strips. Really good. I really like it. As usual, just like last week, this is my first meal of the day. <laughs> I really recommend this. This is one of their best sellers mm. at that restaurant. Delicious, really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. The mushroom junkin noodles is absolutely great. Thumbs up. Like it. Thumbs up, yeah. So, Henry, funny story time. 
story time. I know we all learned using thumps, uh, you know, chopsticks. Okay. We all learned it the, you know, the hard way. We had to, right. you know, just keep eating. Yeah. Eventually get used to it. Yeah. <coughs> One day at a buffet, mm -hmm. I opened up my chopsticks. I know you remember the center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been eating it the wrong way the for wrong. the entire time. Yes. <laughs> you, Vern basically was eating it from the butt, into from the butt of the, the chopsticks instead of the front. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know. It's bent that way because it's easier to pick up the food, but eventually I figured that was wow, the wrong way. That's a classic Vern story with chopsticks. I was like, Vern, I think you're eating that backwards. You're using a chopstick backwards. <laughs> and I'm going to go try one of these uh, dumplings. Here we go. Right, let me see what the sauce that we have here. Of course, the usual um, soy sauce and some kind of a peanut sauce, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, something like a peanut, peanut sauce. sauce. I think so. Okay. Okay. Let me let me try. Let me see. I think I'm gonna be trying this. I think this is the mac and cheese one. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and dip into the sauce right here. No double dipping. Let me see. Hmm. How is it? Tastes like mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can you expect? Just mac and cheese in there and just rolled around in a dumpling. Mm -hmm. So, nothing, I want to say nothing spectacular, but it's something new, something different. <coughs> just having mac and cheese in a, in a dumpling. The sauce, I couldn't taste the sauce, that brown sauce too much, but I tasted the the mac and cheese more than the sauce itself so and i doubt i'll be dipping this in soy sauce so oh wow mm -hmm. <laughs> mac and cheese all right i'm gonna try it mm -hmm. I'm gonna so this it. is the mac and cheese yeah and this i guess this is the bacon yeah now the other one's bacon here we go what's that burn that dip <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, right? It's regular mac and cheese, right? Yeah. yeah. Mac and cheese rolled into a dumpling. Mm -hmm. I would probably add some cheese in here, make it more cheesy. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty good. Comfort food to the max, right? Yeah, huh? definitely. Okay. Mm. How is it, Henry? This one's good. Taste the bacon? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this one is a little bit more flavorful because of the bacon. Yeah, I mean, both are good, but if you make me choose between mac and which, cheese and bacon, between mac and cheese and bacon dumplings, of course, I'll go with the bacon because I don't know how mac and cheese is really compatible with the dumplings. <laughs> they're but, they're different. They're different. Yeah, I mean, but don't it's... don't get me wrong though. The mac and cheese is good. Don't get me wrong, but in terms of dumpling wise, the bacon ones do. Mm -hmm. Especially with the vinaigrette. How's the pinwheel special vinaigrette? Tastes like regular vinaigrette, mm -hmm. but nice and soury. Not too strong, okay. but still, it it it, it um, I think it, it makes the flavor of the bacon pops up more. Mm. Well, that's why it's, I think it's that's where the dip goes for. That's I guess Brenda's like vinaigrette. <laughs> Mm. Like it? That is right. Definitely flavorful. Mm -hmm. You definitely could feel that taste. Whereas with mac and cheese, yeah, it's just mac, mac and cheese. Yeah, it's over. You know, the mac and cheese is the one that overpowering the, the whole. But I think if they added more cheese to it, probably it tastes a little bit more better. I think. Yeah. But yeah, this has definitely has more meat to it. Uh, We're almost finished, Henner. Almost finished. Oh, now it's time to uh, either wash this thing down. Almost killed the noodles. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. Uh, environmental, I'm not saying, uh, paper straws. I don't like it, but anything to save the environment, right? Yeah. Gotta mix that in here. How is it, Henry? Mm. I would say it's different from the Thai iced tea that I normally get. This one has a, a, a unique 
taste to it than the normal Thai iced tea. I mean, it's still sweet, right, Hunter? It's still sweet, which is I shouldn't be drinking, but I don't care. I'm drinking it anyways. I gotta see the menu and what's in this Thai iced tea. They didn't mention anything about the, what's in the organic Thai iced tea, right? It has agave and whipped up with condensed coconut cream. Probably that's the coconut cream. Agave? Well, agave is not too, too bad. Agave is uh, their organic natural sugar, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, in terms for me, it's not like those processed white sugar dough. It's know, really a little sweet. bit more bad for your health. Yeah, but, but this agave is okay, but it's still sugar dough. It still will. Yeah, this straw is definitely uh, will break <laughs> after a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make sure you mix that well. Yep. I know definitely there's a taste to this that we're not, it's not that your normal, your normal Thai iced tea taste to it. So it's not like a regular Thai iced tea. Yeah. Unique. Yeah. Unique flavor. It's probably the coconut cream that they put in here, but... But you can definitely taste it. Definitely taste different it. from the side yeah. I see. Yeah. Definitely taste the difference. Oh, by the way, I'd like to take uh, say thanks to my sponsor, Vernon, for providing this lunch to me. And uh, again, I owe him twice now. <laughs> Thank you, sponsor Vernon. <laughs> so, Henry, what do you think? Mm -mm. Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Definitely hit up Pinwheel Garden if you're in Jersey City area. Um, right now, you know, with the situation outside, they only take out, you know, you gotta order online. Yes. And maybe you could even order through Seamless, I think, or... Yeah. Grubhub. I mean, from what we saw, people walked in there and um, ordered food in the store, but, you know, it's only takeout. Mm -hmm. We could still do that if you're within the area and you could wait for the food while mm -hmm. they cook it. But for us, since we, we uh, Vern kind of lives far from the place, uh, we ordered online and picked it up after a certain time that they gave us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely worth it, I think. Yes, definitely, yeah. It's, uh, I think the fusion works here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very flavorful, very tasty. So. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, you know, trying their other... Um, menu items. Menu items there, because whatever we chose right now is already a good choice. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious about their other foods. Yeah, so we'll definitely come back to them. Yeah. Thumbs up for me. Me too. Cheers, Hunter. Yeah, there you go. Wow, friend, man. <laughs> Down that thing. So, Heather, last words for us. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, ding, ding. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. I burned that dip. <laughs> <laughs>